Hello students, welcome to IPS online classes. This is Arshdeep Kaur. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's start with the important news items for today. सबसे पहले हम बात करेंगे जो भी इम्पोर्टेंट हाईलाइट्स रही आज के दिन की और उसके बाद हम उनको डिटेल में डिस्कस करेंगे तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं हाईलाइट से सबसे पहले वी हैव द लोकसभा पासिस द राइट ऑफ चिल्ड्रन टू फ्री एंड कंपलसरी एजुकेशन सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट बिल द कैबिनेट अप्रूव स्पेशल रिमिशन स्कीम फॉर प्रिजनर्स द पार्लियामेंट पासिस स्टेट बैंक रिपील एंड अमेंडमेंट बिल ऑफ टू थाउजेंड अप्रूव स्पेशल पैकेज फॉर इरीगेशन प्रोजेक्ट इन ड्रॉट प्रोन एरियाज ऑफ महाराष्ट्र India and US has resolved to enhance cooperation in aviation security and counter terrorism. The biennial multinational warfare exercise Pitch Black 2018 will be hosted by Australia. The 7th Defence Technology and Trade Initiative meeting was recently held in New Delhi and 18th of July is observed as Nelson Mandela International Day. Chaliye ab detail mein discuss karte hain sab news ko. Sabse pehle we talk about the right of children to free and compulsory education second amendment bill. that was recently passed by lok sabha and the main aim is to abolish the no detention policy in school the bill amends the right of children to free and compulsory education act 2009 to jo ye bill hai ye amendment hai to this act right of children to free and compulsory education act of 2009 so this act was having a provision of no detention policy that is no child can be held back in any class until the completion of elementary school that is from classes 1 to 8 so this bill has now given the power to the union and state government to decide whether to not hold back a child in any class till the completion of elementary education तो यहाँ पे इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट्स क्या हैं? लोकसभा ने रिसेंटली ये बिल पास किया है एंड जो मेन एम है दैट इज टू अबॉलिश दी नो डिटेंशन पॉलिसी और ये अमेंडमेंट है राइट ऑफ चिल्ड्रन टू फ्री एंड कंपलसरी एजुकेशन एक्ट 2009 का उसके बाद चलते हैं नेक्स्ट न्यूज पे द कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव द स्पेशल रिमिशन स्कीम फॉर प्रिजनर्स so the cabinet has approved this special remission scheme for prisoners as a part of the commemoration of the 150th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi that will be observed on 2nd october 2019 so this decision is considered to be a commemoration and homage to the father of nation and to the humanitarian values gandhi ji stood for so in pursuance of this decision the ministry of home affairs has issued the advice to all the states and union territories to make the cases of the eligible prisoners based on five categories aur ye panch categories kaun si hain they are first the women and transgender convicts who are greater than 55 years of age and who have completed 50% of their actual sentence secondly is the male convicts who are greater than 60 years of age and who have completed 50% of their actual sentence third is the physically handicapped or disabled convicts who have 70% disability and have completed 50% of their sentence then fourth is terminally ill convicts and fifth is convict prisoners who have completed 2/3 of their sentence to jo ye remittance hai ye teen phases mein di jayegi in first phase the prisoners will be released on 2nd october 2018 that is 149th birth anniversary of gandhi ji second phase will be released on 10th of april 2019 that is the anniversary of champaran satyagraha and third phase will be 2nd october 2019 that is the 150th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi to ye jo hai important points the is approval ko lekar then we have the parliament passes state bank repeal and amendment bill of 2017 to iska jo aim hai that is to merge the six subsidiary banks with the state of bank of india after it was approved by rajya sabha so this bill has already been passed in lok sabha और अभी रिसेंटली इसको राज्यसभा ने पास किया है एंड ओवरऑल पूरे पार्लियामेंट ने भी इस बिल को पास कर दिया है सो दिस बिल विल रिपील टू एक्ट दैट आर द स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट 1959 ऑफ द सब्सिडियरी बैंक्स एंड द स्टेट बैंक ऑफ हैदराबाद एक्ट ऑफ 1956 तो इन दो बैंक्स की वजह से इन दो एक्ट्स की वजह से जो बैंक क्रिएट हुई थी दैट वर स्टेट बैंक ऑफ बीकानेर स्टेट बैंक ऑफ पटियाला माइसोर हैदराबाद एंड ट्रेवनकोर तो अब इन एक्ट्स के रिपील हो जाने की वजह से जो ये पांचों बैंक्स हैं दे विल बी मर्ज इन टू एस बी आई सो दिस मर्जर हैज मेड एस बी आई वन ऑफ दिफ्टी बिगेस्ट बैंक इन दी वर्ल्ड तो ये थे कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अब हम एस बी आई के बारे में बात करते हैं सो स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बैंक एंड इट इज अ गवर्नमेंट ओन कॉर्पोरेशन दट इज हेडक्वार्टर्ड इन मुंबई इन महाराष्ट्र तो हेडक्वार्टर्स कहाँ है एस बी आई के इन मुंबई इन महाराष्ट्र 
So this company is ranked 217th on the Fortune 500 global list and it is world's biggest corporations as of 2017. So SBI ka jo rank hai in the Fortune global 500, it is 217th. So SBI was basically founded as Bank of Calcutta in 2 June 1806. So, in June 1806, the Bank of Calcutta form hua tha, and later this Bank of Calcutta was merged in Bank of Badras and Bank of Bombay under the British India to form the Imperial Bank of India. So, three banks jo thi, that is Bank of Madras, Bank of Calcutta and Bank of Bombay, they were merged to form the Imperial Bank of India and this Imperial Bank of India became the State Bank of India in 1955. So 1955 में Imperial Bank of India को change करके State of Bank of India create किया गया था. इस time जो chairman है SBI के उनका नाम है रजनीश कुमार. So the current chairman is रजनीश कुमार. Then we have the CCEA approved the special package for irrigation projects in drought prone areas. तो जो cabinet committee on economic affairs है, they have approved the implementation of centrally sponsored scheme for the completion of 83 minor and 8 major irrigation projects in the Maharashtra's drought-prone areas of Vidarbha and Marathawada regions. So, these projects are included under the special package that will be funded by Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana Accelerated Irrigation Benefit Program. So, this is Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana ke under hoga. The overall cost will be 30,651.61 crores, which means the central government will give 3,831 crores and rest will be borne by the state governments and NABAR. Uske baad badte aage, we'll talk about the India and US that has resolved to enhance the cooperation in aviation security and counter terror. So this India and USA at the Homeland Security Dialogue have resolved to enhance the bilateral cooperation in areas including counter-terrorism, immigration or aviation security. So in three areas, mein inhone socha hai that they will enhance the bilateral cooperation. And for this dialogue, the Indian delegation was led by the additional secretary in Home Ministry, Rajni Sibbal, while the US side was led by James McCammon, who is the deputy under secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. The India-United States cooperation in matters related to counter-terror initiatives and intelligence sharing is the part of this dialogue. So, this dialogue is the Homeland Security dialogue. Its main aim hai, that is the cooperation of India and USA in matters related to counter-terror initiatives and intelligence sharing. Next, we will talk about the Pitch Black 2018. So, this is a biannual multinational large force employment warfare exercise that will be hosted by the Royal Australian Air Force in Australia and it is scheduled to be held from 24th of July to 18th of August. So, pehli baar aisa hoga ki Indian Air Force will be participating in this mega exercise with fighter aircrafts and it will involve over 100 aircrafts from across the globe. So, the Indian delegation hai of the Indian Air Force that will be led by Group Captain CUV Rao VM. The main aim of this exercise is to undertake the stimulated air combat exercises in a controlled environment and mutual exchange of best practices towards enhancing IAF operational capability. Uske baad baat regarding the 7th Defense Technology and Trade Initiative meeting that was recently held in New Delhi. This meeting was co-chaired by the Secretary of Defense Production, Dr. Ajay Kumar and Under Secretary of the Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment, LNM Lord. So, this meeting hai, it was co-chaired by the Secretary Dr. Ajay Kumar and LNM Lord. The purpose of this meeting ka, wo basically had to bring the sustained leadership focus to the bilateral defense trade relationships and to create opportunities for co-production and co-development of the defense equipment. The main purpose is this. And the DTTI is an important forum leading to the 22 dialogues between the two countries. Uske baad hum baat karenge regarding the 2018 Nelson Mandela International Day that marked the 100th birth anniversary of Nelson Mandela who was the former South African president and the Nobel Peace Prize winner of 1993. So, ye kab observed kiya jata hai on 18th of July. So, Nelson Mandela Day is observed on 18th of July. Then we have the Nelson Mandela Foundation dedicated this year's Mandela Day to action against poverty. So, this theme tha, that was action against poverty. 
Mandela was South Africa's first black president and he got the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993. So Nelson Mandela was the first South African black president. So students, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video.